After months of glasnost, perestroika and various measures to strip the Soviet Communist Party of most of its power, by August the 19th, 1991, the hardliners decided they'd had enough. In a show of force, the plotters sent columns of tanks to surround strategic buildings in Moscow, ban demonstrations and strikes, and imposed a state of emergency. As the tanks took up their positions, the worst fears of the supporters of democracy were realized. But the conspirators had reckoned without the will of the people who weren't going to allow a return to the bad old days without a struggle. As the crowds tried to stop the advance of the tanks, inside the Russian parliament building, the reformers were trying to work out what to do. President Gorbachev, on holiday in the Crimea, was now under arrest. It was left to his longtime political rival Boris Yeltsin to take up the challenge. He emerged dramatically to confront the besieging troops. He urged the army not to turn against the people and called for civil resistance to the men who'd ordered the tanks onto the streets. <laughs> Recent events have infuriated the hardliners, and that's why they're staging this irresponsible attempt to resolve political problems by the use of force. They're attempting a coup d'etat, but wherever my appeal for strikes is heard, the people are now backing it. Yeltsin's dramatic stand had convinced the plotters they couldn't win. Hours later, President Gorbachev himself returned to Moscow from his house arrest in the Crimea. It was the end of the most revolutionary 24 hours in Russian history since 1917. Tired and slightly dazed, he told the officials that he too had resisted the demands of the hardliners. But Mr. Gorbachev's real power base, the Soviet Communist Party, had been heavily implicated in the coup. He was tarnished by the same brush. As the official motorcade whisked him back to the Kremlin and for the moment to the ranks of world leaders, a new challenge was arising in the shape of the man who had saved him, Boris Yeltsin. <laughs>